Hello friends, welcome back to channel. In our last video, we are working on R sync local. Now we will work R sync global. What do you mean by global? Like on other server from source and destination, these are two different server. Like we did SCP. Okay, this is worker one. This is worker two. Okay, let me move to slash TMP of this worker one. Worker two, I am already on slash TMP. Now we will do R sync R. S Y N C. Then we are having file worker two. Okay, we'll transfer it to worker two IP and IP of this one ninety two one sixty eight five dot twenty two one ninety two dot one sixty eight five dot twenty two. Location of this I want slash TMP. Okay, before hitting this command, I will show you in worker two I am in slash TMP and there is no worker two file. Okay. Hit the enter key. Password. Okay. File got created. Okay. You see the content. Worker two. Okay. Perfect. Earlier we haven't used the option hyphen A and V to see the update. Now again I will hit the enter key. Sending incremental file list worker two. Okay, if I hit it again, password. Okay, I have entered the wrong password. You are able to see size 94. Okay, and what's the file size? Du worker 2. Du hyphen H human readable. 4 KB and it's sending 99K only. Okay, why so? Because it's checking source and decision is same. Now we'll make some changes in worker to file in the host location. We'll delete this line and then we'll transfer. Now worker to file on worker 1 is having different data and worker to file on worker 2 is having the different data. If I do rsync, what it will do? It will transfer the file from source to destination because it will found difference. So first we will do dry run. Okay, let's see. Hyphen n password. Okay, it's showing 70 bytes. It should be transfer. Okay, so we'll remove hyphen n dry run. Then we'll transfer it. Okay, 166 byte got transfer from source to extension. When there was no update, it was transferring 64 byte. Okay, first we'll go and see cat worker 2. We'll get updated from worker 1, which is having only one line. Okay, let's switch back to worker 1. I will transfer it again. I will enter the password. Again, 63 byte only. So, how much byte you are saving? 100 byte. Okay. And receive also 41 and it's 12. And getting this thing. So, what is happening here? If there is some update in a source file, it will sync with the destination. Okay. If there is no update, it will won't sync file will not get transferred. We are sending just a small file. If we use a file size is huge like in GBs, it will take time and that time rsync will save your time. Whatever file got updated and whatever the file content got updated, that will only get sync with the server 2. Okay. So, let me create a copy cp slash home to slash tmp okay cp iphone r and i will do under rtmp only because we are syncing tmp permission deny i will use sudo because i was doing as a normal user ls okay we got home directory the size of home directory home 
17 m okay ls open l so home is having this permission so what we'll do this time we'll sync slash tmp okay not do this thing we'll do slash tmp with 22 ls slash tmp okay for 22 okay it is not having other than worker 2 okay some files are having attribute set we'll discuss about those thing but it has sent this many byte okay so worker 2 must have got all the files and directories see it's got both the home and this thing if i run it again let's see how much file okay only 215 bytes is transferring see you saw the difference earlier it was in lakhs is 1 crore 72 lakhs 9893 bytes now 200 no, 2158 bytes what a huge difference so if you are having a like multiple file okay or data and gbs and you want to compare like source and destination if you put it on the transfer so it will take a lot time and process and network bandwidth that time we are using rsync if data on a server a and on server b okay let assume this is a server a and this is our server b if data is on server a and server b once get copy from source to station the next time we will not run copy we will run our sync okay remote sync you can say so this sync command will work locally and globally like global that should be reachable this is a command okay the option hyphen n dry run see it will work here also dry run exclude include so if you see earlier we are getting per uh, uh, earlier we are getting permission for hidden file so what we'll do we'll run the same command r sync wait what command we have executed not worker one okay we are executing this hyphen hyphen exclude equal to dot star whatever file start with dot it will not get sync okay see all the file got sync only 65 but 65 byte got okay transfer and see there is no error everything got completed earlier it was showing error so we have excluded the file which is starting with dot ssh uh, dot okay the team so that's how you can use this rsic command okay now it's showing now i have changed the permission showing resolve.com this file permission deny and slash tmp dot is not there okay so you can exclude anything you can include anything you can update anything if i do worker update here now worker 2 okay see it's not transferring so we are having our sync as well as in and with that of what option we are having we are having hyphen n for dry run z for compress p as in progress bar then exclude equal to include equal to exclude and include will come with double hyphen other thing hyphen n hyphen z and hyphen p will come like that a and v is also there archive verb pause okay then source and destination could be local or could be global like source we are having local and destination we are having global means some other server ip or rsync source 
slash tmp destination slash etc same server so you can use it but there is one drawback if i delete some content okay if i delete some content on a source location that will get deleted in a destination location after doing the r sync so before doing that keep it mind if you are deleting any content like any file content in a source file and you are doing r sync that will get deleted in a destination file okay so whatever you are editing in the source file that will get with the destination file destination file will not make a new copy it will get overwritten so before doing that check those things if you have any questions any query anything coming to your mind regarding our sync or some other command comment box is open for you waiting for your comments if you are having anything put in a comment i will answer you till then keep practicing our sync is a command which majorly ask in the interviews learn it keep practicing any question comment box okay see you in the next video bye bye